Welcome to Monday. Happy Monday. Look who's back with us still. Yep, it's me again, and you may see me a lot often. Yes, which is great because we love Lavelle. And Lavelle, yep. what is today? It's Monday, February 28th, which means the last day before March. So starting tomorrow, we're going to be on a new month. That's right. Very exciting. This year is cruising right along. It's going really fast. But it's also Monday... Positivity. That's right. And what are you positive about on Mondays? I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mondays are sometimes hard to be Oh yeah, positive, Monday but... sounds maybe rough sometimes. <laughs> Can because be. weekends are over and the people are going back to school and work. Yep, yep. Not always exciting to start the week, but there are things to be positive for, like on Mondays. I'm positive about the fact that even though it's a Monday and it's not super exciting to get back into work and whatnot, I am excited about the part where I'm getting to get back to getting things done and feeling accomplished when I finish things on Monday at work yes. and just getting the week rolling again. So what'd you do over the weekend? Anything exciting? On Friday was my sister's birthday and we went to a restaurant and we celebrated. Nice, nice. That's awesome. Uh, I love going to restaurants. I don't do it enough. What, what do you like to order when you go to a restaurant? Different things or? Yep. Well, I, if they have it, <coughs> excuse me, I like to order macaroni and cheese. And I told you last week that, you know, some places you can get macaroni and cheese with crab meat in it. Yeah, and before the pandemic, um, my family and I would um, go out to restaurants a lot on Friday nights. Yeah, that's what we like to do in our family. We actually, yes. you know, we're end of the week, we go out. Some places, especially in Lodi where I live, some places have uh, happy hours that extend to about five o'clock. Yeah. So we'll just go to a restaurant that we like and just order some hors d'oeuvres and stuff like that. Yeah. Just have a nice tasty afternoon, end of the week snack. Yeah, but lately um, my parents have been going to restaurants with just the two of them and if we want them they would bring food <laughs> home to us or we would just um, eat something at home or or sometimes I would DoorDash. Oh, that's nice, yeah. Yeah. Don't tell my kids about that because my wife and I have actually been going out on Fridays without our kids as well. And if they learn about the DoorDash, we're gonna be broke in uh, no time, so. And DoorDash is expensive. <laughs> it is, it is. It's nice, it's very convenient, but it is a little on the pricey side, so. Yeah. Anyway, great, that sounds like you had a good weekend. Happy birthday, yes. happy belated birthday to your sister. And yes. uh, what do we got coming up next? Let's see what our friends Zach and Gabrielle have for us today. He wanted me to be with you, to bring you back. I can't do it. I can't. You have brought me nothing but grief, pain. I've been blown up. I've been beat up, I've had stuff thrown at me. I've been shot into space on Mars and fallen through the sky. I can't do it. I don't agree with the way you do things. I don't even like the empire. I fail at everything I do when I'm involved with you. I can't handle this anymore. I left for a reason and you just want me back. No, you can't. You can't have me back. It is horrible that I even think that I'm having this conversation with you again. It's always you're talking to me saying, let's do this. You could succeed at this. You could try this. You love to eat those things. No, I can't do it. I have failed at everything because of you. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry I was hard on you. I can't. I can't be mad at you. I care about you too much. You are very, very important to me in my life. I cannot quit you. Clean you up a little bit. I'm sorry I've been rough on you and mean. Threw you, threw you in the trash a few times, had to dig you out. 
We are one, you and I. Let's do this. What the heck? Where's the lights at? I can't do this. What? Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. You don't feel right. I can't see anything. Oh, wait. There we go. NOTP for you here for you. It's time to get motivated and positive and get out there and do some work. Everybody, it's Monday. Hope you all had a great weekend. Uh, I think I did, but that was in the past, so it's yeah. I don't know if I remember or not, but you know, hey, it's okay. It sounded like it was a great weekend when I reset it in my head. But I hope you guys all had a great weekend. I hope you guys are having a lot of fun out there today. Um, we got a good day ahead of us, a good week ahead of us. But first, we have something to do here. Let's go back, back. the bearded past, the sack. Today, it's kind of a dark day in history, let me tell you. It took me a while to find some really positive stuff. So, we're going to start with 1959. Discoverer 1, an American spy satellite. This is the first object intended to achieve polar orbit. Is launched, eh, but it fails, to achieve orbit. Ah, oh, man, Discoverer 1 didn't discover much at all, did it? Um, also, too, those of you who know the MASH TV series, on this date, 1983, was the final episode of MASH. It had almost 106 million viewers. It still holds the record to this day for the highest viewership of a season finale. That's amazing. Uh, a great show for those of you watching it. It's based around the Korean War hospitals. Um, but yeah, very interesting show. Uh, also, too, in 1991, the first Gulf War ends. Uh, those of you who might be uh, uh, a little young there, it's the first Gulf War. Remember, there was Gulf War Part 2. And uh, last but not least, 1993, Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms. They, the agents, raid the Branch Davidians Church in Waco, Texas, with a warrant to arrest the group leader, David Koresh. He, you know, it's one of those cult deals, you guys, you can read more on it. Um, but four of the uh, agents actually died in this raid, as well as six Davidians. Um, and this is the initial raid. It started a 51-day standoff. So this didn't end for another 51 days. Um, pretty, uh, pretty interesting. There's a lot of uh, stories out there about, you know, who was right, who did what right. You know, was it an escalated issue? Was it something that needed to be dealt with like this? Um, so if you ever want to learn more, I definitely recommend learning more. But hey, guys, thank you. Uh, like I said, have a great Monday, and we got a great week ahead of us, man. All right, take it easy. Bye now. Joshua Asbill with another quote. Believe in yourself and all that you are. Know that there is something inside you that is greater than any obstacle.
This week's feature is Lenin Moreno, one of the most powerful people with a disability to hold public office since FDR. Lenin Moreno was the vice president of Ecuador from 2007 to 2013, making history and bringing attention to the needs of the disabled people in his country in the process. He was injured during a shooting before getting involved in politics. Thanks to his work for providing for the needs of people with disabilities in his country when he was vice president, Lenin was nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize in 2012. everybody here we are it's Monday yeah Monday but guess what it's the last Monday of February well here we've gone through the whole entire month now because there's only 28 days today don't let Clayton tell you there's 29 and tomorrow's his birthday you know he always tries that but it's not we have 28 days it's the last day of the month tomorrow it's gonna be March there used to be some kind of thing we used to say right when we were little. February goes out some way and we go marching into March. I, I don't know. But anyway, it is February 28th. And today's national day is National Tooth Fairy Day. Oh, the Tooth Fairy. Mm-hmm. You know, when you were young and you lost a tooth, you got to put it in a bag or some... I had this little... It was a treasure box. It was a little tiny treasure box. And I used to put my teeth in that, put it underneath my pillow. And lo and behold, there would always be money in the morning. It was so exciting. But the treasure box would still be there. It was cute. I still have it. A little red treasure box. My kids had a little pouch. And they put it underneath their pillow. And the tooth fairy brought them money. You know, I think some people have different tooth fairies. I got money, but it wasn't a king's ransom. I knew kids at school who got lots more money than I did. I always thought they had a richer tooth fairy than I did, but I don't know. I just think it was fun to get something. How many of you out there got something from the tooth fairy? Hopefully it wasn't, what, a lump of coal, or maybe that's in your stocking, where you would get nothing. Hopefully not. It was enjoyable to get something from the tooth fairy. So, be nostalgic today. Think about all those times you put your tooth under the pillow and lo and behold in the morning there was something there. I don't know how it got there. That tooth fairy is pretty tricky, but it was nice to have a treat. So everybody have a great day today on National Tooth Fairy Day. All right, nice. That was a good start to the week. So what is our schedule like today? It's Monday. What are we doing Mondays? Mondays, we have our one o'clock Facebook Live with maybe Clayton. Or it could be Zach, it could be yes. Joe, it could be Emily. Yes. Probably not Emily though. Well, yeah, Emily never does the um, Facebook all, lives. All the behind the scenes She's always stuff. busy in, yeah. in her office. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. So that's Facebook Live Monday positivity. It'll be positively positive for Monday. Yeah, something like that. Yes. <laughs> all right, let's take us out. That's all we have for today. We'll see you guys tomorrow on March 1st. See yeah. you later. Take care, everybody.